Welcome to Team Wild's Farminators, the best pest control hunting show on the web. On tonight's show, we're going to be taking a look at our most amazing varminating over the year and which hunts have made for the best videos. First up, we joined myself and Wildy's mixed game shoot in Derbyshire. When the boys arrived, I managed to draw the short straw again and ended up beating through the woods as Wildy joined the guns walking along the woodland's outskirts. However, there was plenty of action in the woods as Chunk managed to bag a pigeon and then a pheasant. They flushed some guinea fowl, but luckily no one shot them. The boys then moved on to the next drive, but had to make their way through a field knee deep in water. The rest of the boys are blasting away, but I've not let a single shot off as yet. But Big Steve and Wally both claim a great shot on a guinea fowl and get themselves into a little bit of trouble. Then it's time for the squirrels, and the boys clear the drakes and finally I get in on the action. A good day of fun for all involved and a real action packed day of varminating. So uh, once again, thanks to Chunk and Big Steve for taking us up here and letting us shoot this this morning. Next up, myself and Wardy are back in the field for a day of pigeon shooting over decoys in the depths of winter. With snow on the ground, it may not seem the best time for pigeons, but we're hard at it to clear them out before spring arrives and there's young crops that need protecting. We get set up for the day with all the right gear, camo netting, shotguns, decoys, the business. But it doesn't go as planned to start with the birds all heading off in the opposite direction. We're forced to rethink our plans and luckily enough the birds start streaming into the decoys. Finally we're up and running, hammering away the pigeon and getting plenty of birds on the ground for what turned out to be an epic day of pigeon shooting. How to kill your cameraman while pigeon shooting. <laughs> Next on the list of vermin busting action is a pest problem of a different sort. Across the pond in Texas, Josh White and the guys at L3 Outdoors are happy to take on any challenge. However, when there's an alligator causing grief in the nearby pond, they may have just bitten off more than they could chew, but that never fazed them. He needs to wait for the gator to get within range, but also somewhere where they can fish him out of the water so they don't lose him. After patiently waiting, Josh gets his shot and makes it count. The gator is down and out. But now, someone's got to go and get him. So, he sends his trusty sidekick Jeremy, who attempts to head out in a boat full of holes. And when that doesn't work, he's sent into the drink for a little swim. Jeremy swims out, hooks the gator, and drags him back in. Ha! <laughs> Better you than me, Jeremy. Oh, I'd love to hunt for a living. Uh, well, yeah, you don't want to work for me. Top of the epic list for 2013 for Team Wild's Varminators according to you guys at home is our very first video for the show Walked Up Fox Shooting with almost 100,000 views on the video it's proven to be a favourite with our fans Steve and myself were out again with Big Steve of SPD Pest Control and his partner in crime Chunk the guys had a wooded area that they needed clearing of foxes and any other problem pests the vermin busting duo of myself and Wilder were only too happy to help and the day was a real mixed bag as the boys took fox, game birds and even some hares. Along with the collection of dead critters, the episode also provided plenty of fun, banter and hilarity as we went about our sport. Um, we've had, what we had here, two hares, pheasant, two ducks, woodcock and a snipe. If you missed any of these shows or would like to see the full Varminators lineup, click on the link below to go to the show playlist where you can access all of the videos in one place. Also remember to subscribe to be kept up to date with the new changes and lineup happening on Team Wild TV.